It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. Increasing police presence on the streets. This is the focus of the newly installed Iloilo City Police Chief, Police Colonel Leo Batiles. According to Batiles, his men would strengthen their partnership with force multipliers such as Barangay Tanods and Councilmen. They will also enforce non-stop checkpoints and watch over establishments. He will also look into unsolved crimes and intensify the campaign against illegal drugs and other illegal activities. Batiles formally assumed his post on November 8 following the turnover ceremony led by Police Regional Office 6 Director Police Brigadier General Rolando Miranda. Batiles replaced Police Colonel Ulderico Garbanzos, who will retire next month. Bacolod City and Negros Occidental are now under COVID-19 Alert Level 2. According to the Department of Health Region 6, the city's average daily attack rate significantly dropped from 17.02 three to four weeks ago to just 6.14, placing the city under a low-risk classification. Negros Occidental also had a decrease in its ADAR from 5.37% to 2.94%. Although Bacolod is now under Alert Level 2, DOH 6 clarified that the city remains under Alert Level 4 until November 14, based on the classification set by the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases. DOH 6 also confirmed that the number of COVID cases in the region are decreasing. With the recent reports of red tide affecting certain areas in the country, the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources stressed there was no presence of the toxin in Western Visayas. BFAR issued an advisory on November 5, stating that the following areas in the region were free from the paralytic shellfish poison. Also free from toxic red tide are the coastal waters of Gigantes Island, Scarlas and Iloilo, and the coastal waters of Ibi Magalona, Talisay City, Sulay City, Bacolod City, Hinigaran, and Victoria City in Negros Occidental. Red tide is caused by microscopic algae that produce powerful toxins which can kill fish and other marine organisms. People who consume shellfish affected by the toxic algae may experience gastrointestinal and neurological symptoms such as tingling fingers or toes or experience irritation of the eyes, nose and throat as well as coughing, wheezing and shortness of breath. And those were tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor Elisha Lasaria Pumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website, www.panaynews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Panay News on Press Reader. Read Panay News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.